Next up, we have something pretty important for you all. Now, we all know what bullying is, but there are some facts which you may not know. So we have got our good pal Mebs in to bring us up to speed. Bullying is a pretty big issue for all of us, and awareness of bullying is now more important than ever. You guys know that bullying can take place online, in the classroom, just about anywhere. It can affect anyone, and at any time, or in many different ways. In Ireland, a recent study showed that in a classroom of 30 pupils, up to five of them will be bullied at some stage. And at the same time, nearly one in every ten have said that they bully others. Cool. But we can be aware, and we can be part of the solution. People are talking about this issue, yeah. And the best way we can stand up to bullies is to stand up together, yeah. Here in Ireland, some of our most talented celebrities are standing up against bullying, including Saoirse Ronan, Jamie Heaslip, Robbie Keane and Sinead Burke, aka Mini Melange. Yes, they are all showing bullies the shield in the ISBCC Shield campaign. And we are lucky enough to be joined by Sinead Burke in studio. Sinead, you are so welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's lovely to be here. Our pleasure. Now, Sinead, you are a fashion blogger, a broadcaster, a PhD candidate and a public speaker. And now, of course, you are one of the faces that is fronting this ISPCC Shield campaign. So, no one better to fill us in. What exactly is bullying? I think for me, bullying is something that is repetitive, is intentional and is mean. So to give you an example, if I'm in school today and it's 9 o'clock in the morning but I haven't had a very good morning, I've woken up late, I'm in a bad mood and I walk in and Mary who sits beside me says something and I snap and say something mean. Mm -hmm. Is that bullying? Not necessarily, no. No. Mm, no. She gets upset, I feel really guilty and I apologise and we move on with the rest of our day. But what about if I do that on Tuesday and I do it again on Wednesday and I do it again on Thursday? That's bullying because it happens again and again. It's deliberate, so it means that you very much know what you're doing and it's mean. You're being deliberately mean to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's what bullying is. Okay. Yeah. And Sinead, have you ever experienced bullying yourself? I'm very lucky that I have a group of people around me who are friends and who are family, who are so supportive and so kind in all that I do. But sometimes, because I stand out and because I'm a little person, so I stand just above a metre stick in school, when I'm walking about town or going about my everyday life, people sometimes point at me, they make jokes, they laugh and they call me names. Now I'm an adult, but still that upsets me. That doesn't make me feel great at all. And what I do straight away is ring my mum, even as an adult. And I tell her what these people have said about me, I tell her how they've upset me, how I was almost crying, and she'll take the time and remind me what a good person I am. So she'll remind me of all of the great things that I love and I do. I hang up the phone and I go about my day very happy. That's fantastic advice. Just um, surround yes. yourself with positivity. With all good people can. who yeah. can remind you all of the great things that you do and you are. I think that's so important all of the time. Brilliant. Now, when people think of bullying, they'll often think of, you know, physical kind of harm. But of course, there's a lot of other different types of bullying. Could you give us some examples of things that might not be physical, but other forms? Absolutely. If you're in school and if you're in the yard at little break or at big break, do you notice that anybody in your class, are they on their own? Are they playing on their own? Are they standing by the wall in the yard? Do they have anybody to talk to? Because can you imagine going to school every day and having no friends to play with or to talk to or to share your news with or your stories or what happened to your dog last night? It must be really hard. It must be really sad. So have a look in your classroom the next time you go to the yard and see which of your friends and which of your classmates are on their own. And I think go over to them, pat them on the shoulder and ask them if they want to join in. And skipping or in hopscotch, I may be showing my age. <laughs> but ask them to get involved. The classics. The classics. <laughs> Exclusion is harder to spot as well. So you're right to say that you should keep your eyes peeled for that kind Exclusion of thing. is really hard to spot because I don't think it's something you can touch. It's not something you can feel. So you need to make sure that you're aware of it and awake and checking and counting and making sure people are safe. <laughs> uh huh. What if you are actually the person you feel victimised by bullying? What do you think you should do? If you are being bullied and mm. feel you're being bullied, I think you need to take a stand right away and you need to tell somebody. And it's important the type of person that you tell. So I think you need to tell an adult who is in some sort of power or has some sort of role and be able to create change. Mm -hmm. So that could be a parent, a mum or a dad or somebody who is at home looking after you. But also in school, it's important that you tell a teacher. It's important that you tell a special needs assistant or your principal or somebody who is in the yard perhaps on that day who can help who can stop you feeling the way you do, who can stop you feeling sad and make change so that you're happy in school or at home or in your community and you feel safe, most importantly. 
very important. And Sinead, a really sad aspect to all of this is that some people who are experiencing bullying are also kind of embarrassed or ashamed about that fact, so they find it difficult to talk to people about it. So what would you say to those uh, young people? I think we need to make sure that everybody feels safe and has the confidence to tell somebody. So maybe they could go with a friend to the principal or to a teacher. Maybe they could help. If your friend is saying that they're being bullied, maybe go with them and show some solidarity and show some support and be there for them. But I think it's really important that you pluck up the courage, be brave and tell somebody so that you can stop the situation and stop being bullied. Yeah, yeah and be it'll always be worth it. Like that little bit of awkwardness will always be worth it. The long you'll, get, yeah. you'll be so much happier afterwards and change will happen. And you're definitely not alone as well. No, there is, you're not the only person being bullied in your school, in your classroom or in the entire country of Ireland. There were so many, unfortunately. And in 2016, we ne need to take a stand and stamp it out completely. A hundred percent. And now something that's kind of more recent, yeah. of course, is social media. Um, do you think that it's bullying has maybe gotten worse in some ways because of social media? I think it's a little bit harder. We were talking earlier about things that you can't touch and things mm. that you can't feel. And social media and the internet is definitely something like that. When I went to school, bullying might have started at quarter to nine in the yard and it ended just at three o'clock. But with social media, it is on from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. And with Snapchat, it might disappear after 10 <laughs> seconds. No so, proof. No proof. So how do you go to a teacher and say this is happening with social media? So I think it's really important that we make sure we keep an eye on our friends ask them if they're okay if we see anything that might look like bullying we make sure that they're okay and we make sure that if something happens we stand up and we report it to somebody who can make change amazing and you, you started to answer this there but yeah. what would you say if you see bullying happening around you you're not experiencing it yourself no. but you can see it happening what what should those people do I think you should ask the question of the person who you think is being bullied, ask them if they are okay. Maybe they're just feeling sad on that particular day, but if this has been happening again and again, and if they can say, I am being bullied, I think it's important like that you go with them to a teacher or you help them and say to them, I think you should go to a teacher, I think you should say this. And if they're not willing to do so, I think maybe you should go with a teacher for them too. So it's make sure to get an adult involved, somebody who you feel safe, somebody who you respect, who can definitely help everybody out of this bad situation. Sounds brilliant. Yeah. So how can we support the SHIELD campaign? There are lots of different ways that you can get involved in the SHIELD campaign. So if you're a student or if you're a teacher, you can go to your local pennies for all of this month and pick up a bracelet that says, I'm standing up, and that's 250 euro. Or you can get a pin like this one here that I'm modeling very nicely. <laughs> but apart from that, schools can get involved in lots of different ways. So you can become involved in the SHIELD program. And if you go with the program, you can get a beautiful SHIELD flag for your school. Imagine the pride in that. Yeah. But for all of that information, go to the ISP cc.ie or if ever you need to talk to somebody in a safe space call 1800 666 666 amazing and we've got our bracelets yes, as well don't we Simon we do. Love we them. Are standing up against bullying Sinead thank you so much for coming in to talk to us thank you so much for having me it was lovely to be here